Hey, Meredith420 here, back with another tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial is on using the keyboard or chat pad. Now, a lot of things in this game require that you have a keyboard or chat pad to do things. One of them, as of this patch, until next patch, I hear they're going to add doors and stuff officially but for now if you go into your workshop and uh, choose your door first of all make sure you build your door uh, against the front of your workshop where these two blocks are in the middle. Now, and just build it flat there and when you name it, you have to name it Door Swing as this one is and then also make a duplicate one, doesn't, doesn't matter what it looks like, name Door Open. Uh, you won't be able to see that one, so it doesn't matter. But, as of now, those options are not in the name uh, list. If you hit your start button and went down to set custom block name down there, where it says none, it w doesn't have door swing or door open in the available uh, list. So, what you have to do is on your keyboard or chat pad, you have to hit the shift button on the left hand side, left shift button and as you see a command prompt comes up and if you type help here it shows you all the different uh, commands available from this command prompt and a lot of these like I said can only be used here from the with a keyboard or USB chat pad or yeah USB keyboard or chat pad and um, for this one we would want while we're in our workshop with our door uh, shows we would type in set name and then space and then door swing boom and it says name change to door swing and there you go and then do that again with a like I said for door open and a lot of other things you can do from here um, you know using the fill command to build things uh, a little quicker builds cubes of uh, you got remember when you used the fill command that it builds in all directions or both you know directions from the east and west or north and south but from the center block that you're aimed at so but we'll go into that more later um, another thing is changing the time. You can always change it from night to day. You can either hold down the T. The T button will will make time go quicker and then you can just let go of it when it gets to the time you want it to be. Or you can actually come here to the command prompt and, and type in time, say time 8. And um, it will set it for you and change it back to daytime. Um, and uh, also if you were in your world and you want to send a message to everybody in your world just so that they, uh, you get them out, everybody a message type in send and then whatever message you want and then you see a message will come up across the screen and everybody will be able to see it and um, what else set TNT you could change the size of your TNT's uh, it gets kinda um, dangerous if, if you do this accidentally and um, the default size is 4 and you can change it up to size 32 now this is each size you go up is exponentially so imagine a, a cube 
and four would be like a tennis ball size or a, a sphere you know four would be like a tennis ball size or and then eight would go up to uh, basketball size and then uh, you know 12 goes up to beach ball size so it goes up quite a bit each uh, each little bit so just you could be careful playing with that you don't want to blow up uh, anything important while you're playing with that and of course it can't be undone um, and the, of course an important one that you need a keyboard for is the set max players and that is how you set how many people are allowed in your world at one time default number is four but if we want eight people to be allowed in our player boom there you go now max player is now set to eight and now eight people can be in my world at once so there you go more traffic more boats so there you go twice as much traffic available now uh, what else? Message of the day. I get lots of questions about those. You do need a keyboard chat pad to change that also. Um, you just type in message MOTD and then one changes the first line. You know, as your screen is loading, people coming in your world, you'll see four lines of text. Those are the message of the day. And each one, if you want to change the first one, you type MOTD one and then a blah 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 and if you want to change the second one MOT2 uh, and so on all the way up to four and I'm not going to change mine right now because I like them the way they are and unlock there's one if you get a code from Steam Heroes or or from DJ Arcus or from Morning After Kill for one of the pickaxes or such, you use this, you come in here, you get that code, and you type unlock, and then whatever the the number is, and boom, and it would it would say unlock successful if you get it right, you know, if you type in the right number, and, and you'll have the pickaxe or whatever, the Harrison axe, if you get it from uh, Steam Heroes game, and I guess those are all the important um, features you can use the keyboard for and I hope that was helpful and if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll try to answer them but as always till next time Meredith out